What's good, your gang? For those of you who are already subscribed and for those of you who haven't, what's up? I'm York and this is the York Files. Today, I'm going to do a little like eat with me mukbang Monday or mukbang Monday. Um, it's kind of canceled. I've had the flu, potentially pneumonia since Thanksgiving Day and um, still not all the way better. So today is Togo's. It's going to be more of like a eat with me because I don't really feel like I have a quantity of food that's mukbang or mukbang worthy. So went to Togo's, got um, a veggie wrap. Yeah, we're back to the whole veggie thing, right? Uh, we may have taken a break for Thanksgiving, but less meat, less meat, less poison, less poison. <laughs> Sorry if I'm could potentially be ruining me for you guys and some of you shouldn't even care but sorry if I'm potentially ruining me for you guys but I doubt it most of y'all are savages I know um anyway I got a veggie wrap and spinach and then I got a salad it's um I think it's just called a green salad or something like that but yeah I haven't had a meal today I am hungry but because I'm sick I'm not my usual typical starving if you will um it's late but i don't want to leave without having content up for so long so i'm just using the lighter in the car to make it do what it do and i'm gonna show you guys the food but then i'm also gonna include pictures that i took in case so that you can get like a better view or a better angle or whatever So this is the veggie wrap um, and I did alter it some it comes with can't really see but that's the spinach shell it comes with hummus but I didn't want hummus so I asked for guac and I got guac yay me This is really good. It's almost like a burrito, but with like a lot of guacamole and no meat. And they're pickles, red onions, red peppers, a little banana pepper, feta, and lettuce, and guacamole. Oh, and it's like I think of balsamic vinaigrette on here too. So, this is my first time, no, that's not the show. I was going to say it's my first time having Togo's, but it's not. I've had their tuna sandwich. One of the things I hate about when I wait so long to eat, when I let so much time pass without me having a substantial or significant amount of food, is when I do start eating again, I feel nauseous. Like, almost grossed out. And I've been like that for potentially five or six years now. Um, my old physician told me that it was just because, like, the stomach acid after you haven't eaten for a while is kind of why I feel nauseous. Something like that. But apparently it's perfectly normal. I wonder if it has tomato in here too. I don't think I said tomato. Yeah, sun chips. I 
I really want to eat this salad. Sorry, I can't help it. I'm always messing with my piercing in my ear. I said light onions, but you know, I know I said no onions for a salad. I should have said no onions. I do not like, I'm not a huge fan of raw onions. At all. Now cooked onions, love them. This really is like so reminiscent of a submarine. And I guess I'm saying that now because of the balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> but those who couldn't make that out because of the balsamic vinaigrette. It's good though. So, I had the flu, potentially pneumonia. It started out Thursday, like literally at 12 o'clock, like damn near 12 o'clock on the dot, Thanksgiving. And I was sniffling, and I didn't even realize I was sniffling, to be honest with you. One of my roommates was like, oh, you have allergies? And then when they said that, I kind of became more aware like, oh, I am sniffling a lot. Maybe like an hour or two later, the pressure started building up in my nose. And I'm like, man, I do not want a sinus cold. I think it's going to be a sinus cold. So then, um, Friday. Yeah, so Friday. So I didn't take anything then. But it started getting worse. So Friday morning, I went to Walmart and I got a jalapeno, some pineapples, and like their little store brand Sudafab. So I was told to bite into the jalapeno and like eat pineapples. And I know I've heard that pineapples is like really good at um, they're better than cough drops for a sore throat. So and the jalapeno is supposed to eat it raw, not the whole thing, but eat some of it, like chew on it. And the spice from it will help. And it did. But then. Came the joint stiffness. And. For me that's always a sign of the flu. So I went to Target. And got some Theraflu. So. I started taking that Friday afternoon, Friday night. And super irritated. Because I had stuff to do. I ain't had no time to be sick. Being sick. Everybody got time for that. <laughs> um and Saturday is when shit got real. Saturday, my breathing was so labored, I could not, like, let me think. Like, I think for the most part, most Walmarts are kind of standard. So, imagine crossing, like, the greeter at the Walmart. So, from the greeter to literally the curb where you can start seeing cars move, I would be completely out of breath. I would be, like, chest rising so hard like like it was crazy as hell and what made it worse is that I left out I went with one of my roommates on Saturday to a casino to do a buffet cause it was all you could eat crab and hey I was gonna eat some 
animals for that. But, um, I was, like, no good. And when I would try to, like, walk fast or keep up, I would just start, end up coughing. So, I mean, coughing hard, too. So, it was kind of like, it was rough. But, actually, the Walmart situation may be even, I may be giving you all more ground than what really. I was getting out of breath very easily. Very quickly. Just walking, period, made me, like, breathe. Breathe deeper. And then I started coughing up phlegm. Left and right. All the time. Still doing that a little bit. So. It's kind of funny because I was kind of talking shit when I first got here. And like one day it was kind of chilly. And I'm like, oh y'all, immune system's weak. This ain't no cold. This ain't no cold. And then I could have potentially whole died. Within these last few days. Because you can die from pneumonia if you don't know. And I really don't know fully what the symptoms of pneumonia are. Other than, like, difficulty breathing. Because I had pneumonia once as a kid. Very young. No memories of it. I only know it because my mom told the story again. So, yeah. That was that still sick but thankfully i'm like able to get up and like kind of do stuff now breathing is still a little labored i do think i visually show signs of being ill in public like i can't stand still for long because of the joint stiffness so yeah Quite a few other people, like my cashiers from both Walmart and Target, both said that they had kind of got a little something, something, but got over it. <laughs> and then apparently, we I, it's all thanks to the chemtrails, chemical trails that they've been putting into the air. Um, quite a few people are said that they kind of saw them doing it over the holidays. Some people believe in them, some people don't. Kind of like a lot of stuff in the world, right? What I do know is I'm sick. And I've heard about a lot of other people in different areas being sick as well. Here's the salad. In different areas being sick as well. Is it a coincidence? You be the judge. I don't think so, though. I do not think so. I'm trying to figure out what I just literally did with my fork. Oh. <laughs> this is what I did with my fork, right? <laughs> Oops. My bad. Hey, I'm so sick, y'all. So, chalk that one up. And then that's another good thing, too. I'm so glad that I'm trying to, that I'm, like, eating less meat. Because there's so much mucus in me. I swear to God, if you, I think I've heard of the saying mucus on the brain before. And when I blow my nose, I have to blow my nose, like, two and three times. Not just once, like, two and three times. And I can literally feel, like, the mucus coming and my ears popping like it's pulling. It feels like it's pulling from above my nasal, nasal passage. Something's bitter. What is bitter? Maybe it's just the greens just kind of bitter. There's cucumbers, carrots, 
greens, croutons, feta, Italian dressing. I have this entire salad though. I already know my favorite part is the croutons. And another thing out here in California is like these mofos love some Starbucks. Like, if a Starbucks closes at 12 o'clock out here, you're not going to get a seat there until maybe around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. If it's a, I shouldn't even just say Starbucks because it's coffee shop, period. If there's a, because there's a coffee shop called Lestat. There's three of them in San Diego. If you go for one, they're 24 hours. You're not going to get a seat in Lestat until about 12 o'clock. These people love their coffee shops. Probably just not, just as much, if not more, as they love yoga. And I say that as I'm sitting outside of a yoga place. <laughs> I'm gonna see a lady put her yoga mat in her trunk a few seconds ago. is bitter <laughs> I'm not in a good way it's messing up the flow of my salad in all actuality Okay, so for those of you who aren't familiar with Togo's, it's similar to Subway, but on a smaller scale. Why is some weirdo coming here with like 500s in his hand trying to get changed for two of them? Are those fake or not, nah, bro? And what's crazier is he, as I was walking up, he was walking behind me, and when I stopped, he stopped. And I was sitting outside for maybe five minutes on the phone. And when I walked in, guess who walked in? I'm like, I know he's not trying to rob me. He's going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Some young dude. He do not look black. Maybe white, maybe Italian. Same difference, but you know what I mean. Can you strike me as Hispanic? His money could have been real, but it's just like who comes in Togo's with $500? Five hundred dollar bills trying to get changed. Like we don't take your butt to Walmart with that. And it was still relatively early. It was like six forty five, six fifty. Go to a check cashing place. So I definitely think they were fake. Alright, well, I've almost eaten all the croutons out. So, 
not necessarily mukbang or mukbang, but still, my eating show in my car. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling better. Getting stuff done. Sticking it out. Alright, that's all folks. <laughs> More content coming up soon. If you're new, subscribe, like, share. If you're new, subscribe, like, share. <laughs> and go watch another video. That's really the most important part. Go watch another video, please, and thank you. For those of you who are returning, hey girl, hey guy. What up, gang gang? Gang. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm out. Feeling a little better, but still stiff. So...